I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, obviously, the information that we received yesterday was incorrect, and it is my chance to see for the very first time the Five Musketeers. I'm so beside myself with this, with excitement. This is the last place I expected to find them. We're all the way down south, close to, well not quite, but near enough to Lookout Hill. So very, very far south for this particular coalition. And I'm so thrilled that the intel that we got that they'd gone into a conservancy was in fact incorrect and we've caught up with them. So for the first time, I get to see them. And I haven't even introduced myself because, well, there's five cheetahs on screen and I'm, I'm a little bit overexcited. A very good evening to all of you. My name is Jamie. This afternoon, Manu is on camera with me. And we're out late because we were, well, that was very cool, Manu, by the way. <laughs> we're out late because we were out all night. We got stuck. Long story. But it seems that our luck has turned. And we will be staying with these five boys for the rest of the night. We'll see what they get up to we of course once the sun goes down have special permission to be out here enjoying these incredible sightings oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry madam let me just squeeze past you sorry just trying to take a photograph and i'm driving right in front of it i know i don't like it when people do that we're just going to loop around all of the other vehicles. The amazing thing, of course, is that we get the entire Mara to ourselves after half past six. So we shall share for now, and then the rest of the evening they'll be all ours. Looking like they're hungry, looking like they're in new territory, actually. And I just saw them marking on a, a nearby tree. So perhaps looking to establish themselves. We're certain this is them. I haven't seen a collar. I mean, there's five cheetah in front of me, but I haven't seen a collar. So, should, but surely it must be them. Uh, let, oh, let me do this. Hold on, everyone. We're just doing a quick skip around, and we'll be. In, oh wow, Manu, how is that in the golden light? Ooh. Too beautiful for words. Buttons, I agree. It looks as though the luck is changing absolutely. After a rather, well, long night. To be faced with the sight of five cheetahs is just extraordinary, particularly since everyone else has had the opportunity to see them except for me. Up oh, there's D'Artagnan, second from the left, the one with the collar around his neck. Everybody else has spent time with them. Every time I've come across the side of the river, I've missed out. But my luck has turned. Manu, I promised you cheetah, and cheetah have delivered. <laughs> well, I haven't delivered at all. All I've done is get us stuck. And then by pure chance brought us to the right area. So definitely scent marking. There they go up against a dead tree. Stopping to scent mark. Looking to establish their territory here. I don't know. I must actually double check on the collar data from D'Artagnan to see just how far south they usually go. I think this is a little bit out of the ordinary for them. But with five of them, there are going to be very few male cheetah out here that can challenge them. And what we'll be doing, or what our plan will be for the rest of the evening, is shortly we will switch to our low light camera and we'll follow them. Because the extraordinary thing about this particular group of five is that they seem to move all through the evening. And they're marching further and further south. This is utterly stunning. This is the most, ex they have provided us the most extraordinary opportunity. You just don't get sightings of five cheetahs together. This is a truly exceptional thing to be able to see. A 
<laughs> Absolutely. I couldn't have put it better. Our beard, <laughs> of course, we have met in the past. Our beard says that we need the theme music for Lawrence of Arabia. I couldn't agree more. I would play it as they walk across the horizon, but um, I made that mistake once before and I got our entire afternoon safari kicked off social media for copyright violation, which was a complete accident, I didn't realize. Um, but there you go. I automatically got us our, our entire thing deleted. I wasn't very popular. So I won't be playing music, just in case we find ourselves with that situation once again. And I won't be singing because that will ruin the sighting. Moving up to a shepherd's tree, the perfect place to scent mark. Ah, oh, this is so exciting. Justin, I've smelt cheetah urine, and as you say, leopards smell like popcorn. Cheetahs just, to me, smells a little bit like cat urine, to be 100% honest with you. It doesn't have the same beguiling scent of, I never thought I'd say that about urine, but it doesn't have the same beguiling scent of leopard urine. It would be nice if it smelled like something like, I don't know, what goes for the, well with popcorn? Chocolate. Sweets. Oh, little startle. I wonder if these boys have figured out their whole hierarchy set up yet, or if they're still having the odd scrap. Oh, look at D'Artagnan there. <laughs> Reaching up. This is just spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Everybody taking their turn to spray urine. As Brent often comments, it is amazing just how much urine a cheetah body actually can hold if you watch them go about scent marking. Yep, everybody else check everybody else's scent. All is well. Nope, that one, that part's not quite covered yet. I'm not sure if it's Sammy or Sunny, and I do apologize if I'm getting it wrong. I think it's Sammy. Sammy? 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 <laughs> Alice? <laughs> yeah, Sammy. There we go. Managed it at last. You want to know if another male cheetah could join this coalition? I would say no. I would say that it's unlikely. I think that they are well established. This is an exceptional situation. It really is something quite out of the ordinary for cheetah. Typically cheetah coalitions are related to each other, but these boys don't seem to be because you seem to have two different age groups. But I think that this coalition was formed while they were quite young, and I think it's now well established. I doubt highly that they would be accepting of an additional sixth member. I could of course be proved entirely incorrect about that as we've seen. Animals don't read the textbooks. They certainly don't play by the rules of these boys, especially. 